I have black wheels, C6 Grand Sport black wheels that are powder coated, they're factory original, but I use them as a track wheel, they're a little banged up, they have track tires on them. These are my street wheels that I'd like black as well, but I'm not looking to spend a thousand bucks. So I'm deciding to, to dip these. The kit I bought was from Dip Your Car. This is a brand new product called Hyper Dip. I guess it uh, provides a smoother finish, more durable than the, the standard plastic dip. Apparently this is the first uh, kit they sold for the Hyper Dip. And uh, what comes with the kit are some, some bags if you're going to spray it with the wheels still on, so I won't be using that. One microfiber cloth, some pre-dip spray that helps clean the wheel, kind of a prepping agent. A dip release that you're going to put on your tire or the area that you don't want the dip to adhere to so in this case it is the tire and five cans of satin black um, color here for the recommendations of dip your car I also got some of this 99% isopropyl alcohol and I did this to just really make sure that I got a, all the wax off the, the chrome wheels, any kind of film that's on there. So I uh, wiped all the surfaces down that I want to dip with this first. Got real good in between the, the rim and the tire. Did it uh, three times. And then I went through and did this again. So they're pretty clean. For masking off the areas that net, uh, I don't want coated, simple painter's tape on the valve stem. And for the lug holes, uh, the faces of the lug holes I really didn't want um, coated. It has kind of that tapered conical shape to it. And so what I did was I took a 22 millimeter uh, socket here and um, used it to trace out some cardboard circles and set them in the holes and then just used it as a tool to push in and slide it in. Gives a nice press fit. and then just pop them out from back. Final preparation for the, the dipping process here. I did mask uh, a couple inches in on the barrel just so I don't have any kind of overspray in there. Now, I did a little bit of a reverse mask here when I apply the uh, dip release because my rim in the tire, just how it is, I'd be getting a lot of dip release on my wheel so I said what the heck I'm just gonna mask the wheel it took about an extra 25 minutes on each of these this one I already did and then I just after I put the dip release on I just peeled up the tape and then I just hit the edge with the pre-dip cleaner I might even hit it with a q-tip and some rubbing alcohol too these wheels have been sitting in 65 degree weather inside my garage for a little over a day now. And uh, they've been cleaned a handful of times. And uh, now I'm getting ready to put the remaining dip release on it, peel up the tape, clean the edges, and then I'll set them up vertically uh, and uh, start, uh, start spraying. I did my first tack coat. I covered it maybe 
um, but it was starting to run so I decided to do lighter and uh, this is my second coat and so these are chrome wheels obviously and it it tends to run I get a little fish mouth in there and there so hopefully it gets better I think it will but it was pretty runny I'd like to consider myself a decent painter but I mean man look at that I wonder if I got some uh, release agent on there I'm not sure I was pretty good with um, wiping all the edges with rubbing alcohol and that uh, that pre-dip cleaner so we'll see every wheels different I'm sure so um, looking a little rough right now but again this is a second coat so I have a long ways to go so maybe I'll build up maybe everything will be just fine if not well it's first world problems right I'm gonna try and maintain my optimistic my optimism here I stopped counting the, the amount of coats I have on because I hit five coats and I still had three cans left so uh, is that good or bad I'm not sure but it's I'm getting hundred percent coverage and some of the runs are correcting themselves a little bit and it's uh, it's adhering better and getting good coverage now so um, it's looking looking a lot better than it was some runs but it's not a show car I'm not that sensitive to it so uh, details to come all right not too bad pretty happy with it looks good looks very smooth some of the challenges I had were the first and second and third coat the chrome doesn't uh, doesn't work so well in the first couple coats it is very prone to running I'm not gonna blame the product I'm gonna blame my wheels or my application so if you look real close you know you can see some runs little minor imperfections that you know it's it's obvious when you get close but if I were to do it again I would do many probably three to four super light coats and then start laying it on nice and thick whether or not that's the right way to do it I'm not sure um, but pretty cool product I hope it uh, I hope it holds up to the abuse that I'm gonna give it and if it does fantastic if it doesn't well that's it's a dipped wheel I got 80 bucks involved so no big deal it's another shot of it just it's a satin black 